My name is Katherine Hunt and I'm a genetic counselor at Mayo Clinic in Arizona. I'm going to discuss the inheritance of colorectal cancer. The majority of colon cancers are in fact not hereditary. Approximately 80 to 90 percent of all colon cancers are sporadic. Sporadic colon cancers occur at later ages, typically over 60 or 65. However, 5 to 10 percent of colon cancers have a hereditary component. Some important characteristic features of hereditary colon cancer include colon cancers that occur under the age of 50 or 45, or an individual who has multiple colon polyps in their 20s, 30s, or 40s. There are several different hereditary colorectal cancer syndromes. One is called Lynch syndrome, and this condition includes families that have multiple generations of colon cancers that occur at 50 or younger, as well as women who may have endometrial cancer, also at younger ages. There are several other cancers associated with Lynch syndrome. Another common hereditary colorectal cancer syndrome is known as familial adenomatous polyposis. This is a colon cancer syndrome which causes hundreds to thousands of polyps in young people and the risk for colon cancer is almost 100% by age 40 if preventative surgeries are not performed. It's important to be aware of your own family history to learn and understand whether you may be predisposed to colon cancer because of having relatives who were diagnosed at younger ages or relatives with multiple colon polyps. Fortunately, there is genetic testing available for some of the major hereditary colon cancer syndromes. Genetic testing can be performed through a genetic counselor or through your physician, and they can sit down and discuss with you the best test that could determine whether you need to have preventative uh, screening at a younger age than the general population. This can be very helpful for preventing colon cancer in the future, as well as some other cancers. If you were to meet with a genetic counselor, your appointment would consist of spending a good deal of time talking about your family history. This could include three generations of your family history, all the way back to grandparents. Prior to coming in for your visit, it, it's helpful to find out at what ages did people have cancer, as well as what were the primary cancers which occurred. When you meet with a genetic counselor, she'll go through the family history and explain to you what risk factors are present in the family history which may warrant further genetic testing. A genetic test is typically accomplished very simply with a blood draw, but the implications of undergoing genetic tests can be very complicated and complex. Implications of undergoing genetic testing could include more frequent colonoscopies and colonoscopies at a younger age if a person is found to have a hereditary colorectal cancer syndrome. In addition, information learned from genetic testing can have implications to relatives and children and other family members. The best way to determine whether you or one of your relatives may be at risk for a hereditary colon cancer syndrome is to pay attention to who has been diagnosed with cancer in your family. If you have any relatives diagnosed with colon cancer or other cancers such as endometrial cancer or ovarian cancer at younger ages, it might be best for you to meet with a genetic counselor to discuss possible genetic testing. In order to find out more information about Mayo Clinic's genetic counseling program, please feel free to visit our website at mayoclinic.org.